Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, Zara and Nicola TV. Thank you so much for tuning in. We have a lot of exciting things planned for you guys in the next coming weeks and months, and I'm gonna be super consistent. If you guys don't know who I am, I'm Zara, also known as Epic Zara, and it's been a really long time since I've been on our channel. I actually don't know how long. Huh. Well, I'm back now and I'm gonna be as consistent as possible, you guys. At least one video a week, so stay tuned. For periods when I'm inactive on YouTube, I'm really active on Instagram, so if you guys wanna follow me there, that's super awesome. Here are a few of my posts. I don't know if you've seen them. If you already follow me, you have, and that's really cool. If you don't, maybe you have, but probably not, I don't know. <laughs> be sure to check out my Instagram and my Twitter. I'm always gonna be active on there, updating and everything like that, you guys. So today on our channel, I want to do something a little bit different as like just a little like toe in the water in the pool, you know, just to get you guys warmed up again to be watching our videos. And that's going to be a story time. If you guys follow me on Snapchat, then you know that I've told this story on there and it's the story about my first kiss. I mean, I wasn't that much younger than I am now but <laughs> it was a pretty interesting experience so let's get right into the story you guys so let's start from the beginning like the actual very beginning of the story when i met this person this is what happened it was one fateful day in my undergraduate career and I was just there, you know, chilling, chilling. I was skipping class. <laughs> okay, you guys, really quickly, I was not a truant. I graduated summa cum laude, turn up. And like, you know, I did really well in school, but every once in a while, <laughs> I just felt like being a little bit, you know, extra bad, risque. I don't know, I'm having trouble finding the right adjective to describe my bad behavior from time to time, but anyway, yeah, you guys just a quick disclaimer. I was skipping class and As I was skipping class. I was hanging out with my younger cousin and I was just like, okay What are you doing? And I followed her to her class because I was bored and it happened to be like some sort of computer literacy class I think and we were just there chilling 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 then all of a sudden this extremely attractive guy like walks in like guys when I tell you I was like Just confused. I was confused fam. I was like Like seriously, you guys, he has to be one of the most beautiful guys I've ever seen in my life. And I was like, I was just astounded. So anyway, he walks into the classroom, walks up to my cousin, her name's Valerie. And he's like, oh, hey Valerie. I was like, in my mind, I was like, girl, you know him? Like, can you introduce me? Can you hook a sister up? Like, you trying to get me in there? But in reality, I was like, So anyway, you guys, they were like greeting each other, greeting each other, and then she introduced me to the guy, and we'll call him, what will we call him? Let's call him Raymond, because <laughs> everybody loves Raymond. So, <laughs> so anyway, you guys, Raymond, that's what we'll call him, was introduced to me, and I was like, okay, hey, Raymond. So fast forward, fast forward, that night I went home and I was like, oh my gosh, Nickster, like girl. By the way, Nicole is my sister, if you guys don't already know her. Hey boo, <laughs> shout out yeah. to you. So anyway, I went home and I was like, Nickster, oh my gosh, I just met like the finest guy ever, like girl. And she was like, what's his name? I was like, his name is Raymond. She's like, oh, Raymond, that's my G. Like, we're always doing our little study sessions together. I was like, <sighs> so you mean you guys have been hiding this extremely attractive young man from me? And of course, she had time to join on my life and tell me that, uh, girl, 
nobody is hiding him from you. You're just always in your music building, practicing your violin. I was like, <sighs> that is true. If you guys want to hear more about like my college experience, let me know. A lot of it was very unique, but most of it was me literally in the music building, either writing music or playing violin. <laughs> So anyway, we had that little conversation about Raymond. So fast forward to the next day. My sister actually had another study session with Raymond. And I was like, ooh. So when she came back from her study session and I came back from orchestra, she began to tell me about how that went. And she told me that Raymond was inquiring a lot about me. <laughs> To say the least, I was pretty enthused, you guys. I was like, wait, <laughs> because fam, when I say this guy was fine, Lord have mercy. He's the type of guy that literally flipping every girl he smiled at would just forget herself. And we'll get more into that later. So anyway, you guys, I was there. I was listening to Nicole talking about Raymond and basically what had happened was Raymond was like, Hey Nicola, so um, I met your sister the other day. My sister was like, Oh, did you? Now, of course, we already had this conversation. So she was just, you know, forming for me, trying to help my life out. You know what I'm saying? So then Raymond said, Yeah, I mean, she was like pretty cool or whatever. Like, and then my sister said, oh, really? Like, are you trying to talk to her or something? Or how's that gonna go? Now Raymond responded, oh, <laughs> I mean, but I hear she's a YouTuber or whatever. So like, what's her Instagram? And of course, next year being the wonderful sibling that she is, she had my back. She had my back. And she told him, oh yeah, this is her Instagram. You can like follow her up if you want or whatever, I guess. So that's exactly what happened. And after my sister told me this story, lo and behold, I saw that Raymond was following me, you guys, on the gram. Needless to say, I was like, Oh my gosh, 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 oh my gosh. <laughs> guys, I was like lit out of my mind. So anywho, after that, what happened? Oh yes. <laughs> My guy slid in my DMs. Hey. <laughs> yeah, guys, when he slid in my DMs, he was like, Oh, hey, it was nice meeting you the other day. And I was like, Is that so? <laughs> I'm flattered. And then he like was just asking me your atypical questions about being a YouTuber and whatnot. And I was like, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's my life, you know, like it's just something I do. And after all of that, he casually asked me for my number. <sighs> Needless to say, once again, I was like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Yes, 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 yeah. <laughs> I was extremely excited. And shortly after that, we planned a date. So you guys, for this date, like there are a few really great places to eat in my, um, or at the location of my alma mater, right? Actually, no, there are a lot of great places to eat. Who am I kidding? But one of my top favorites was this, was it Thai food? No, it was Chinese food. I love that place so much. So I was like, heck, why don't I follow this guy to this place, get some free food, free conversation. And it's the free food that carried me to my face. And I'll tell you guys exactly what happened. So, because I wanted to go and eat free food, Bruh. I had the most unique experience, you guys, and this is where things get a little juicy. So we went to the restaurant, enjoyed our food. You know, he was like continuing to talk about how I was a YouTuber and stuff. And I was like, at that point I was wondering if like he was actually trying to talk to me cause I mean, cause I'm cute or whatever. Or if he was trying to talk to me because of like, social media like hype and everything so I was like okay well whatever he fine so I don't care <laughs> and I just allowed it to be honest anyway we had a really like nice meal nice conversation but after that he was like oh so you trying to come back to my place or no just you know watch a movie now of course me being very foolish I said oh sure why not <laughs> yeah totally <laughs> And I followed him back to his apartment. Mistake number one. 
What mistake, children? Mistake, mistake number one. Mistake number one. So, anywho. <clears throat> Followed my guy back to his apartment and there I met his friend. Now, his roommate slash friend happens to be the biggest, biggest gossip in the African community in that university. This was mistake number two. What children? Mistake number two. Number two. So I already knew I was like, hey. All of my business is about to be outside in this university. And I had always told myself I'm never going to date in my university, you know, because like people always be on my life and up in my business. Let me just keep my private life to myself and like not give anyone a reason to really like talk about me or whatever, whatever, whatever. So guys, at this house, we were watching the movie Flight. If you guys know that movie, it's actually like pretty scary. I was like surprised. There was one particular part in the movie where I was just like low-key shivering with fear. And my guy was like, Are you scared or something? Foolish Leo, I was like, Yeah. And then that's how, before I even knew what was happening, my guy had me in a swift cuddle. I was so confused to say the least. How did I get myself into this situation? I don't understand how free food has got me into this kind of trouble. Because like, hi key guys, I was very inexperienced. But I was like not trying to be intimate or anything like that with someone I had just met. So like cuddling, kissing, not fun. So fast forward, he's still cuddling me. That's how his roommate walked out and was like, he just quickly did a once over, went back in his room. I was like, hey, hey, my life is about to be all over this entire university. After that, it was getting a little late and I was like, oh, you know, I kind of need to go. And so he called me a taxi, right? And oh my goodness, taxis in my university town can high key destroy lives. Like fam, when I tell you, you call them and it takes them an hour and a half, two hours to get to you. You might as well just call them at the beginning of whatever you're doing so that they'll be there by the time you finish whatever it is that you're doing. So basically I was like, man, I'm about to take a taxi. Will this thing ever come or is it about to fall on my hands and put me in even more trouble? Well, as God will have it, the taxi literally came like, I want to say 10 minutes after he called it. I was shocked. He was shocked. We were both shocked or whatever. I was like, yes, thank you, Jesus. So, we went downstairs. I guess we were being kind of affectionate or whatever because we were feeling each other. And I know you guys are like, I don't know. Why did y'all ask me right here? Don't worry. We're getting there. Just bear with me. So anyway, we got outside and the taxi got there. Now, I was very ready to leave when the taxi came. It was one of those like carpool taxis. So we were standing outside being caressed by the night air. And as we looked at that taxi, we turned to one another. After the little exchange of words, he like leaned in for a kiss. And of course, me being me, I turned and he caught my cheek. Do I look like I have time for that? But the devil said, <laughs> but wait, I got something for you. And that's how he now grabs my chin, turns my head gently, brought me in and kissed me. Guys, I was shocked. I didn't even know how to kiss, man. I was like a drowning flounder, like. Yeah, yeah, it was it was rough, really. It was rough. I mean, like, the kiss was not bad. It was pretty nice now that I think about it. But I didn't know what I was doing. I was kind of just like... To say the least, you guys, I was really confused. But after that experience, I quickly got to the car and there was this like young Muslim woman in the car and then of course the taxi driver. Literally they were watching the whole time which just made the whole situation more awkward. I rode with the taxi guy and this young woman picked up another family. So basically there were like six or so people in the taxi. And they eventually dropped me off at my apartment. I got there and I began to tell my sister and my cousin exactly what had happened. I told them the whole story, everything, everything, the kiss and everything. The next are like to be using like some Yoruba exclamations, even though we're like not Yoruba, you guys. But she was like, Egba mio, Egba mio. <laughs> I was like, girl, can you calm down? But I can understand their shock because it was me, of all people, kissing guy. Like these things just, they don't happen. 
so that's pretty much the whole story the moral of the story is do not carry yourself out because of fine guy free food and free conversation because you might get more than you bargained for thank you guys for watching my story time if you've enjoyed this please let me know and i will make another story time for you guys really soon if we can get this video to a thousand likes i will tell you guys the story of the time that i was a side chick for like a second though and i was very naive and i didn't know so don't judge me you guys but i will tell you that story so thank you guys so much for watching please don't forget to subscribe give this video a big thumbs up share this video with all your friends and comment anything let's ask a question in the comments what was your craziest kiss experience just give me a paragraph about your craziest kiss experience if it's you know safe for work if it's nsfw tell me the next craziest one <laughs> okay you guys thank you so much